Hello, hello everyone, Chris here and welcome to Shattered Pixel Dungeon. This is a really fun game and I wanted to show it to you guys, so let's begin. We have five classes to choose from. We have Warrior, Mage, Rogue, Huntress and Duelist. For this playthrough I will play as this guy, but if you guys will enjoy it, then I will play different classes as well. Okay, we started in the sewers and the goal of this game is to go to the lowest floor. We have a rat over here. Let's deal with this guy. Nice. Another one. Uh, this is a stone of clairvoyance. Pretty useless if you ask me, but let's take it. Why not? Uh, what do we have here? Another rat. Nothing too dangerous for now. Oh, this is a room where you can hide from monsters and regenerate your health for a little bit. And those balls are the dewdrops. Those are basically healing items in this game. Hmm, let's retreat over here and ambush it. Nice. We have a scroll of identify. I will leave it for later. What do we have over here? This should be the treasury. Yeah. For now the gold is useless, but later on we will find a merchant where you can spend it. So why not? I'm happy with that. Another rat, another defeated enemy. And we are almost at level 2. Yeah, level 2. I always put my first point into Iron Well because it gives you extra shielding, which is always a nice thing to have. As a warrior you start with Broken seal that gives you regenerating armor, which is really nice. Okay, that's that should be pretty much it when it comes to this level. Let's continue. Oh, we found a seed. This seed is especially useful because once you plant it and stand on it, then it will heal you. So yeah, I'm happy I found that. Another rat. Die, thank you very much. Hmm, and this is a gnoll. Gnolls are basically goblin-like humanoids, but with fur. Put a goblin in a furry suit and you will have a gnoll. Okay, what's here? More money. Why not? Another potion, two more scrolls, and what do we have here? Here should be a dead end, but usually in places like that you can examine it. And we have a secret passage with Gnoll. And this is a wand. Let's see. Oh, this is a cursed one, damn it. Okay, we have a cursed one on our hand. I won't be using it for now on. You can usually remove curses with remove curse scroll, but unfortunately I don't have any on me right now, so my wand will collect dust in my inventory till I find one. Oh, we have room with giant piranhas. Those guys are really dangerous. If you manage to kill one, he will drop some mystery meat. They will rip you to shreds if you try to cross them. 
finding this room basically means that somewhere on this level one of those potions that we keep collecting will be the potion of invisibility and it will probably be this one this one because we picked up it as a last one we can even check it because we have the stone of intuition you can use it select an item and guess that this will be a potion of invisibility yep it is so let's go over here let's drink it and go over here we have ration of food nice and that's pretty much all when it comes to this floor let's continue We have another seed, some dewdrops, another rat. Oh, we leveled up again. Another point into Iron Well. Nice. We have a blue key. It means that. Oh, damn it! I forgot to affix my broken seal to my armor. That that's why we didn't have any extra shielding. Damn it. Uh, what was I talking about? I forgot. Anyway, we keep exploring. We have Shuriken. Let's kill this guy. Damn it, I missed. Uh, damn. Let's retreat here and now kill him. Now this one. Thank you very much. Oh, we have a key right over here, another one, some money, a ration of food. Oh, a hidden door right over here. What do we have right here? A hidden passage with enemy. Another one. How many of you are here on this floor? Come on. Oh, we have a tombstone, a hero's gravestone. If you played this game before, then when you die, you will have a chance to get one item from your dead character in one of those. Sometimes you can get really lucky with this. Let's see, what do we have? First we have a ghost. Let's deal with this guy. Nice. And now this spear. This is the Cursed Blocking Spear. Hmm. And we have new type of enemy. A swarm of flies. When you hit the sky, he multiplies. Yeah. The best strategy is to retreat behind a door and keep attacking. And he dropped a potion of healing. Nice. Another stone of intuition. And that's pretty much it. Okay, now go, go over here. Oh, this is a really nice room. You can find either either a artifact, a ring or a wand. Let's see. We got a ring. What kind? Uh, plus one ring of tenacity. Which is good, but it is also cursed. Ring of Tenacity reduces the incoming damage when you have it equipped, but if it's cursed, then instead of reducing damage, it will increase the damage you receive. So yeah. We have a catalyst that we can use, but we need one more energy. Uh, let's sacrifice this. And what do we have? Okay, let's take it. Why not? It basically gives us more chance for enchantment on armors and weapons, but also more chance for curses. Okay, that's pretty much the, this whole floor, so let's continue. We 
we started to starve, so let's eat something. Hmm. And we leveled up, nice. Now I want to put my points into the veteran's intuition because when you level when you level it up to max you can get insta identification for every armor that you equip. This is a trap room. We have to be careful. Uh, we don't have any keys, but we have this guy over here. Damn it. Uh, can I screw you over? I don't think I can. Well, maybe I can. Let's see. Ah, damn it. I can't, really. Hmm, we have a graveyard with a lot of those guys. Let's retreat over here and wait for him. Okay, one down. One more to go. Nice. We have our keys and our friendly ghost. This ghost, when you talk to him, he will give you a quest. And when you accept it, the mini boss on this level will spawn. Those bosses are not that difficult, but I prefer to clear this whole place before dealing with the mini boss. So yeah, for now I will just keep exploring. Oh, we have this room. When I step on this wooden tile, like this, this crystal will, will charge up. Around here he will start shooting me and he will kill me pretty easily. But if we find a potion of haste, which should be somewhere on this level, we will be able to clear it without taking any damage. And level up, okay. Nice, now we can instantly identify pretty much every armor in the game, if we equip it, of course. Ooh, damn it, we need to heal up. I almost died, damn. Yeah, this guy can be dangerous. Oh, damn, we activated a alarm trap. Now every monster on this level will come here. Damn it. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Damn. I think I will have to use my healing potion. Yeah. This is a arcane stylus. You can basically use it to enchant your items. Okay, we have our ghost, but first I want to clear this place. We have a potion of haste, nice. And we have a armor, let's see what kind. A normal one, okay. I won't be using it because as you can see it requires 14 strength. We don't have that much. Hmm, okay, let's talk to this guy. A great crab. 
Okay, great crap is not that bad. It's a little bit annoying. It's not this guy. Oh, it's this guy. And the gimmick with this mini boss is it's that basically you can't hurt him unless you ambush him. So let's retreat over here and now we can attack. Now repeat it. And just like that you continue. Oh damn it, there is this guy. We have to retreat. Hmm, this is not good. I want to retreat to upper floors for a little bit. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Stop eating me, stop eating me. And here we can basically eat something and try to regenerate some of our health. And we leveled up again. Uh, damn it, I didn't want it to go down. Just sleep here for a moment. Oh no, this guy is coming. Can you piss off, please? Yeah, I think I will use one of our upgrade scrolls on this ring to remove the curse and upgrade it. And we have damage reduction from this. This should help us a lot. We can also cook this fruit with this seed and it will basically act as a healing potion. Okay, let's use it. Nice. Um, what should we do? Let's use the identify scroll on the sickle. Damn it, it's cursed. I was hoping for a better weapon.
Ah, oh, finally. And we leveled up again. We, we were fighting so much on this floor that I am already level 7. Okay, now I want this runic transference. It is a really nice skill to have. It will help us basically pass the runes between armors. Uh, I want this one. Okay, what do you have for us, Mr. Ghost? Give me the armor. Okay, it is enchanted, but goddamn, it's not upgraded. Hmm. Those two are probably the potion of strength, so I will drink them, yeah. And now we can equip this armor sweet. Hmm. Do I want to mess with all of those? Them. Oh, come on, how many of you are on this floor? And we cleared whole floor, finally. Now it's time to face the boss. Every five levels you will be fighting a boss. The boss of this floor is a big slime, you will see him in a moment. Oh, we have this guy as well. I wonder what will happen if I awaken him. This guy is basically an easter egg. You can find a bunch of gold around him. And you can even talk to him, but he doesn't do much. Yeah, but he didn't went after this slime then. I was kinda hoping that something would happen. Okay, let's start fighting this guy, I guess. Hello. Let's use this broken shard. Uh, retreat, retreat. Retreat. Okay, we need to use our healing potion. And now we need to retreat. Nice. Oh, come on. Come on! He's almost dead. Come on, come on, come on! I am almost dead.
but we managed to kill him. Damn it. Yeah, I almost died. What the hell. Ah, that was irresponsible of me. But we survived, that's all that matters. Okay, this uh, staircase leads you to the prison. This is a deeper level of this dungeon, but I will go there in the next episode. This is Chris, and I will see you next time.